Hi guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to show you something today on uh, bike locks. Uh, basically, like a lot of you guys out there, uh, I've got one of these combination locks. Uh, you can see it's got the four number combination lock. And I've been watching a lot of videos online, uh, like yourself, on YouTube, and been really disappointed to hear that these locks can actually be broken. Uh, or they can uh, basically be hacked by uh, people finding out the, the code here very easily. This is, uh, in my opinion, quite a good lock. It's the uh, Kevlar cable model. You can see here it's got Kevlar written across it there. So this is a strong lock. It's not that easy to cut. But what's the point of it being strong when people can just find out the combination up here? Now you can see that the combination would be put in between these two markers here. Now the reason a lot of people were saying that these are easy to break is because apparently if you rattle these on the correct number there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of play in between. See like that there is moving. See left and right. And that happens with most of them and by finding out where the play is you can find out where the key is for that particular number. Now I'll give you uh, a quick tip if you're buying one of these. Uh, make sure you get a lock that has a lot of false keys in it. So for example, this might be the number 9 and it would have the slot which allows you to open it. But some of the other keys have slots as well, only they're not as wide. So they might rattle, but it won't open the lock. And I'll give you an example of this. I'll just put my code in to show you. So here for example, I don't know if you can see, but if you look down the shaft, this one, I've put the right coating. See, look, what happens is, if you turn it, you'll see there's a gap down there. I know you might not be able to see this at home, but if I keep on turning it, this number, I won't obviously tell you which number it is, but this number has the actual gap. If I turn it, it closes, and then another number also has a gap so that would also rattle so this has a lot of false keys as well which makes it a much better lock but I'm going to show you something now to help you get rid of that rattle on all of these all I've done is I've taken the lock I've opened it and on the sides here you can see I've actually hammered it flat just slightly hammered it can you see the hammer marks and then you can see that this is no longer smooth so if I put a ruler next to it like that you should be able to see there that see there's it's a slight bump now there it's slightly raised so it's not smooth anymore down there it's got a slight ridge to it here you see there's a ridge going up now then how does that help well what I've done is I've put that ridge on both sides one here and one on this side as well. There's a ridge on this side as well. You can see that there. And I've also done the same to this side where the combination lock starts. So you can see here I've hammered it. And again, it's brought out a ridge, you see? See, that there's a bigger gap up here and down here. And this one is making complete contact with the, the first number, the first dial. So what happens? I'll show you what happens. I'm going to close my lock. Let's put the code back in. Alright, so there's my lock. Now you can see already it's very stiff. That lock is very stiff. So I'm having to push it in a little bit just to turn the numbers around like that. Now watch this. Okay, random numbers. Look, there's no play on the lock. It's completely jammed up against the dials. There's no play at all. Now, I'll show you this because you're probably thinking, well, you know, type in, you know, put in the numbers and let's see if it still does it. Okay, look, the first number on my lock is the one. Now watch, there's very, very, very little play on there. And if I go to the next one, it's exactly the same. 
on all of the numbers there's just a tiny tiny little bit of play and in fact it's not even noticeable I'm having to really force this across and I'm not feeling very much and look it's the same on all of the numbers now you can't get that that left right movement that people are looking for in order to open these locks and the actual lock itself has no play so even if people start trying to put pressure on either side and they just click and click and click they're not going to get that movement so if you want to uh, you know make your bike look a bit more secure and you know avoid people stealing your bike this is one hack I can recommend so you're just hammering it on either side on both sides you're making that little dent there just to raise it up raise it up that profile pushes against these dials and basically look there's no rattle at all in this lock now so it would be very very difficult for anyone to get into this using the, the methods I've seen on YouTube hope that helps and uh, hopefully your bike will never get stolen thanks guys